my esteemed viewers these tutorial series are intended to help my esteemed student fraternity to pick up points in technical aptitude and to smoothly sail during selection tests both written as well as oral uh, therefore it is named as uh, campus placement enablement tutorial series in this playlist titled technical aptitude uh, technical aptitude tutorials this tutorial in particular is on intricate details or intricate points on programming in C uh, there is no single selection test as far as my experience goes without questions on C programming in any selection test as a matter of fact Therefore, this tutorial being the first in the series which is meant to uh, enable the students uh, for their campus placements, particularly uh, students of non-IT branches. This particular tutorial brings out questions of relatively low complexity uh, picked out from textbooks, internet and also uh, a few from company question papers uh, we start this three two one now the minimum number of temporary variables needed to swap the contents of two variables uh, is actually uh, I think we can do this using temp uh, another temporary variable it is something like having two cups one coffee the other cup containing tea now we want to exchange we cannot mix up and do a cocktail therefore we need a we need an empty uh, empty bottle or empty cup first of all coffee is to be poured into empty cup therefore the cup containing coffee will become empty tea should be poured into that and whatever that we that we held whatever that we hold in temporary cup should be placed back to b that's how the the contents of two cups gets exchanged in a, in a normal course uh, this is what which happens there we don't lose the data okay and we have another method wherein we don't need any other temporary variable it is actually zero and here it goes a equal to a plus b let us say a is 5 and b is 6 so a will bring in 11 5 plus 6 equal to 11 and b is taken as computed as a minus b so a contain 11 11 minus 6 is 5 so whatever that was there in A will go to B and A will be once again 11 minus 5 because A minus B, B has become 5 in the previous step therefore 11 minus 5 becomes 6. This is one of the age old methods in order to swap the contents of two variables uh, without holding any, any temporary variable. Right. If an integer needs two bytes of storage the maximum value of unsigned integer is unsigned integer is 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 2 to the power of 16 2 to the power of 32 and then two bytes of storage integer needs two bytes of storage therefore the number of bits should be equal to 16 and the maximum value that can be held is 2 to the power of 16 but we can also represent one of the values to with all 16 zeros therefore it should be 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 so the maximum quantum of values the magni maximum magnitude of value uh, with uh, for an integer uh, with two bytes with two that two uns unsigned integer is 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 now uh, yeah that is the answer now we will go for the next question Next question is about uh, what exactly this particular statement prints print of percentage D print of gyro so here there is a there is a print of function within print of function anyway as per the Bardmas rule this will be executed this will be executed so gyro will be printed and since every function C function returns some kind of an integer value 
it has to return some integer value and here it so happens that it will return uh, whatever the number of characters this particular literal string carries so j 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 therefore it will be printed the whatever that is in the bracket will be printed first and then the value will be printed therefore it outputs jram 7 now if abc is the input then the following program segment results in character xyz now printf percentage d scanf percentage c percentage c percentage c ampersand x ampersand y and ampersand z and anyway abc will be taken as inputs and since there are three parameters over here for scanf function it will be printing as three that's all it prints three that is the correct answer Consider the statements, put char, put character, get char. So whatever the, since the things will, will execute whatever that is in the bracket, so it will get a character. So there are two functions to get a character. One is get ch, other one is get char. Get ch will never echo the character that we type in. Therefore any key can be hit. It will be, it will be never flagged on the screen. It will never get printed on the screen. But as far as get char is concerned, whatever that we entered, it will go as an input, character input, and at the same time, it will be printed on the screen also. The first character is put char, get char. So whatever that is gotten by this get char will be placed on the screen. Next, once again, there is another function, same, same put char function with another get char. So we may enter like this, or we may enter A first, then we will hit the enter key, and then we will enter B. So here we have written, we have, we have typed A first and then space then B. Then this is how we have entered or we have entered in another case we must have entered A first and then we must have hit the enter key and then we have printed B. Okay, then we have given B. Then the output should be an error. No, it is it's not going to be an error message. Only A is printed. A and B is printed and A, B. It will be printed like this or it will be printed like this or it is only A that is printed. Since after A, A will be taken by this get char. The space will be taken by this get char. And if you write A and B next, after hitting the enter key, A will go into the memory. Then enter key will be read as a character. Therefore, only A is printed. Right. Now, the fourth question is, if a, b are two positive integers, if a, b are two positive integers, which of the following options relate to, relates to slash, that is division symbol, division operator and mod operator. Mod operator will always return the reminder upon division while, while this division operator will, will return the quotient value. And if integers are divided, truncation happens. That means there is no decimal place. For example, uh, 5 divided by 2 equal to 2. And 5 mod 2 equal to 1. 2 to the 4 and what remains is 1. So this returns the this returns the reminder and this returns the quotient. So let us go through each and every every example and we will come to know which is correct b equal to a by b let, let a equal to 6 and b equal to 4 a equal to a equal to 6 b equal to 4 and that is inside the bracket therefore division happens division happens so this division will lead to will lead to 6 by 4 is 1 so 1 and into 4, 4, plus a mod b, a mod b is 6 mod 4, so 4 ones are 4, what remains is, what remains is 2 as the reminder, so here it is 4, here it is 2, it is 6, but b is actually 4, therefore this doesn't hold good, what about this, it is 6 divided by 4, that gives us 1, 1, it is not 1 point something, it is 1 because it is integer division, into 4 so this is 4 and a mod b a is 6 b is 4 a mod b is 6 mod 4 
6 mod 4 is 2. Therefore, it is 4 plus 2. This is 6. Okay. And there is nothing to, there is nothing, nothing like checking the other things because this has already given us correct answer. And I, I just initiate, I, I, I suggest my respected viewers to verify what exactly is the output of this and what exactly is the out of, output of this. For the sake of clarity and for the sake of completeness, let me explain this. This is 6 mod 6 mod 4. This will give us 2. 2 into B, 2 into 4, 8, 8. And this is 6 by 4, 8 plus 2. It becomes uh, 6, plus, 6 plus 1, that is 7. So B is not equal to 7. Therefore, this doesn't hold water. So the correct answer is the second one. Right. We'll go for the next question. Yeah. In the following snippet, character C equal to A. Yeah. Character C equal to A. C is a variable. C is a variable. It is initialized to A. Now, while C++, as soon as we say C++, it becomes B. Okay. Less than or equal to Z. Yes. Put char. What is that is to be printed over here? What is, what is to be written over here? If the required output is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, okay, up to Z, then X, 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 X should be, uh, let us see what happens if we put C over here, C++, C++, so it will start from B, because it is already C++, C is set to A, C++ means it becomes B, okay, so B will be printed. So B, C, something like that it goes and uh, it will go up to Z and it will stop because we have we have limited this particular while loop up to Z. Anyway, it doesn't start from A. What about C++? If we take this C++, uh, C is A, C++ is B. B. And here we have written C++. C++ is nothing but uh, uh, writing an expression something like this. C equal to C plus 1. C plus plus means this is the meaning. Okay. This is the meaning. Therefore, the compiler will fetch C. So, C plus plus is B. So, here C. C plus plus is written. So, it, it will once again start from B. Then it becomes C. Then it becomes, uh, here it, it is C plus plus again. So, when, when the control leaves this put char, it, it will become C. The, and here once again we are telling C++, therefore it will become D. So in the next step it will become D. So it will print B, D and then one character ahead F, H, J, L, N, P, R, T, uh, V, X, Z. That's what, uh, that's, uh, we, we don't want that. And what about, what about this? C uh, and here we are writing C minus 1. So C++ will bring B, B over here, okay, uh, yeah, B over here, because it is A, C++ will become B over here, and here what we have written is C minus 1, so B minus 1 is A. Similarly, for all the steps, it will be 1 lessened with this C++. So C++ will increase and once again the character value will go behind and this is the candidate solution in order to print all these or the desired output that is A, B, C, D, e, F, okay, in its, uh, okay. Now what about this minus C, C? So if C++ is A, C++ is A, it will become B, it will become B, once again it will be minus minus C, that is, that is C minus 1 equal to C. So, B minus 1 equal to A. So, every time it becomes A, A only. You can verify that. So, the entire scheme, because it is always lesser than Z, it is always lesser than Z, and every time the while loop, while loop places the kind of a truth, while true, print this. That is the meaning. Therefore, the entire screen will be flooded with A. And we need to, we need to stop it by pressing uh, either pause, break or scroll lock screen. Therefore, the answer is C minus 1. I repeat, C is set to A. When it is over, when it crosses this particular, particular stage, when it crosses this particular stage, it becomes, it will have become B, 
it will have become b when when it comes over here and we say c minus 1 so c minus 1 is b minus 1 b minus 1 is a okay therefore this is the correct answer right if y is of uh, if y is of integer type then the expressions 3 into y minus 8 divided by 9 and y minus 8 divided by 9 into 3 must give same value must always yield different values may or may not give same values end up in error okay we will consider for this kind of problems we need to consider examples okay we will consider 15 let us say because we want to have positive values therefore we have chosen 15 otherwise there is no uh, we are not sacrosanct about this particular it's highly arbitrary but anyway we are supposed to choose different values for y in order to uh, in order to find out the correct answers so 3 into y minus 8 y minus y is 15 15 minus 8 is 7 and this will be evaluated first because it is in the bracket and anyway compute compiler will have the associate uh, associativity from left to right therefore it will immediately multiply 3 into 7 3 into 7 is 21 21 divided by 9 21 divided by 9 is 2 9 twos are 18 okay 2 will be the answer what about what about here so it is 15 minus 8 we have chosen y equal to 15 15 minus 8 is 7 7 by 9 is 0 Okay, seven by nine, because it is integer division. So zero into three is zero. So for y equal to fifteen, we got we got two for this expression and we got zero for this expression. We will take we will consider another input. Uh, say ten. So ten minus eight is two. Three into two is six. Six by nine is zero. And here ten minus eight is two. Two by nine is zero. Therefore, both the values. both the expressions will give the same value so it may or may not give same values or depending on the what what input that you are going to choose for y so that is the correct answer now the following code fragment x equal to y, x comma y equal to 2 z and a now we come out with an expression an expression is given x equal to y star equal to 2 this is a composite compound assignment operator y star equal to 2 means y equal to y equal to y into 2 so y is already set to 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 so this particular bracket within the bracket will evaluate to 4 and here uh, there is a multiple assignment that is being done this is possible even in declaration statements also we can write like this it's not wrong anyway so z is initialized to y that is 2 okay and it is not 2 now because it has already become 4 in the memory of y what it contains is 4 and the compiler will evaluate this entire expression from left to right associativity therefore the, it will evaluate this first by the time it evaluates by the time it completes the evaluation of this particular expression or part of the expression y will have become 4 so here z equal to a equal to 4 anyway three uh, fours are not added any one four is taken that is the value of y that is either the value of z or value of a anyway this entire bracket will bring in bring out four either to the account of z or to the account of a and y as already contains four therefore it is 4 plus 4 it has to print 8 so print 8 print 6 print 4 and syntax error it definitely it is not a syntax error therefore you can try also okay some of the some of the snippets i have tried on my system therefore uh, they have come out pure okay it prints 8 now if x has value 3 then the output of the statement print of percentage d percentage d x plus plus and plus plus x and whenever Uh, it is it is always possible to write small expressions within print of statement i have i have spoken about this in my tutorial series on c okay, anyway for a recall memory whenever it finds multiple expressions like this of course there should be comma over here it is missing okay uh, yeah it's not, it's not a syntax error anyway there should be a comma over here now uh, this will be put to stack so x plus plus will go below x plus plus means x equal to x plus 1 okay that will go to the stack first because associativity from left to right 
and then this will be placed plus plus x means x plus 1 equal to x okay this is how it is placed now when the evaluation happens it will be taken out because it is a stack policy stack policy this will be taken out x is already having the value 3 so 3 plus 1 will be fetched by the compiler so 3 plus 1 will become 4 so here 4 will come now here when it evaluates the second uh, second expression in the stack the the lowermost stack what it fetches is x value x has become 4 and here it gets 4 and then it gets evaluated to 5 so what it gets initially is plus plus x okay after after the complete execution of this print statement the memory in x will be 5 but anyway as far as this expression is concerned as far as within printf is concerned if this is this is going to become 4 and 4 is fetched because x is still 4 okay uh, therefore the answer should be 4 and 4 okay I will remove this next the program snippet i equal to 7 put char i so 7 should be placed as a character 7 is typically audio it's a, it's a soft equivalent is soft equivalent is slash a slash a slash a stands for audio like this sorry like this slash a okay slash a stands for audio its ascii value is 7 so it makes a it makes a beep sound okay therefore that is the answer next printf percentage c 120 as you might have guessed it will never print 120 it prints the ascii equivalent of 120 therefore that is the answer now the statement prints printf percentage of 9 by 6 uh, 9 by 6 evaluates to 9 by 6 evaluates to 1 because it is integer division integer division leads to truncation I have told earlier so 9 6 1s are 6 it cannot be 6 2s are so it should have been it should have been 1 point something but that point something will be truncated and while it puts tries to put the answers there is a formatting which is percentage f okay uh, if you try this with the computer if you try with your computer uh, the program will terminate without printing anything without printing anything that is the thing that you should notice okay i would suggest my respected viewers that you should do this on the other hand if you write somewhere over here okay i will complete this okay then we will go for the uh, next question so in play in order to obtain the correct value uh, we would have written by the side of 9 float within the brackets hello at float within the brackets 9 by 6 now 9 will be immediately converted into float value it becomes 9.0 anyway float has a higher higher uh, mm, higher priority even compared to integer therefore entire expression will be turned out into a, a float kind of division therefore it it will give us it will give 1.800000 six zeros whether we like it or not so that is the correct way of obtaining the correct value whenever integer divisions happen or we can play we can just make it 9.0 9.0 or we can have what is called as type cast operator type cast operator type cast operator is going to change the cast of the variable the cast of the variables here are integer therefore it will be converted into float okay therefore it terminates the answer is termination the following program fragment prints unsigned i equal to 1 this kind of programs we need to execute otherwise uh, uh, it is immediately impossible to tell the correct answer but anyway anyway let us be informed about this unsigned integer i equal to 1 integer j equal to minus 4 printf uh, unsigned integer this is the format specifier for unsigned integers but what we have done is i plus j uh, i plus j 
is exactly equal to minus 3. So minus uh, 4, sorry 1 minus 4, it is minus 3. And if it is a, in my, in my system when I executed this, I got, um, I got, uh, I, will, I will write it down over here. Okay, let us say, let us see as to how I, I got a output like this. 6, 5, 5, 3, 3. Okay, mine is a 16 bit uh, computer. Okay, so therefore it evaluates to 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 is the maximum value that it can hold. 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 happens to be 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. And here minus 3. So 6, 5, 5, uh, 3, 6, minus 3. Therefore I got 6, 5, 5, 3, 3. Okay, when I executed the same program in Turbo C++ editor. Right. Next, the following snippet results in i equal to 3, i less than 15, i plus equal to 3, that is i equal to i plus 3. So there is a jump for this i by value 3. So in the first cycle it is 3, in the second cycle it is 6, in the third cycle it is 9, so on and so forth. But anyway this for loop has to stop when the value is 14. And but ironically, we have placed semicolon over here. Semicolon. It, syntactically, it is not wrong. The for loop will be executed within this only. The control will never go out of the for loop till the process, process is completed. So it becomes 3, it becomes 6, it becomes 9, it becomes 12, it doesn't become 15. Okay, when it becomes 15, that is the reason why the control has to leave. The control has to leave and it when, when it leaves, it finds this particular statement. By then, I will have become 15. Therefore, it will print 15. Okay. The following snippet results in for i equal to 1, i less than 5 plus plus i. If i equal to 3, continue. Else percentage d i. Now, for i equal to 1, i less than 5, i plus plus. 1 has to be printed because i is not equal to 3. 2 has to be printed because i is not equal to 3. When i becomes equal to 3, continue is there. Continue means control will be taken back to the for loop, ignoring this. Whatever that is written beneath, continue. So, continue will take the control back and by the time it will have reached 4. Okay, so 1 is printed, 2 is printed, 4 is printed, 5 is not printed because it is less than 5. So 1, 2, 4 is the correct answer. Now, the following program fragment prints a equal to 0. Printf a is 0, else printf a is not 0. Now, uh, the thing within the bracket will be evaluated first as per Bodmas rule. So a is set to 0. Now if is applied. So it becomes if a. If cannot take if a equal to 0. a is already initialized with 0. So this particular statement in, in, a, in a literal sense, in actual sense is, is read as if a. If a. a is already initialized to 0. Then upon looking at a equal to 0, this is not a logical operator, this is not a relational operator, therefore it will, it will read it as if a. So if a, if a means if a not equal to 0, if a means if a not equal to 0, that is the meaning. But here a is equal to, equal to 0, okay, if a not equal to 0, but if here a equal to 0, therefore this will be printed. a is not 0. So this will be printed. Now, the following program fragment prints a equal to 7. So a is initialized to 7. a equal to 7 means if a is not equal to 0. If true, that is the meaning. 
So if a not equal to 0, yes, if a not equal to 0, a is really not equal to 0 because it is equal to 7. Therefore, this is printed. a is 7. This is printed. Now, the following program lines print integer k equal to minus 7. Okay, k equal to minus 7. Print of percentage d 0 less than not k. Okay, uh, my respected viewers should remember that along the number line, along the number line, only 0 remains to be 0. All the negative numbers carry with them truth. All the positive numbers, as we can guess, will carry truth. So, if minus 7, if k equal to 7 means uh, k, k is true, k not equal to 0 k not equal to 0. Here k not not equal to 0. So double negative makes positive and this will evaluate to 0. 0 less than 0. 0 cannot be less than 0. 0 should be equal to 0. Therefore the truth of this particular expression is 0. Therefore 0 will be printed. I repeat k is set to minus 7. Minus 7 means true. Minus 7 means true. So, minus 7 means not equal to 0, k not equal to 0, therefore here not not equal to 0, not k not equal to 0. So, uh, this will become 0, okay, therefore 0 less than 0, okay, uh, it cannot be true, therefore it prints 0 as the answer. The following loop prints i equal to 1, j equal to 10, multiple assignments are possible. But in conditional expression, there should be only one condition, i less than 6, plus plus i, minus minus j. While i increases, j decreases. But i has a limit that it can go up to 5, starting from 1. Okay. Therefore, in the place of i, it is 1, okay, 1, 10. Okay, 1, 10. Then 2, 9. 3, like that so 1 10 this one this should be the expression 1 10 2 9 3 8 4 7 5 6 so i has stopped at 5 but this has continued up to 6 therefore that is the answer we should carefully follow particularly when we deal with for loops okay there will be cryptic statements some some of them are taken from gate examination some of them were from textbooks, some of them are uh, from the internet and some of them are from the question papers that I availed. Okay? And of course, having told all said and done, this tutorial is talking about uh, simple, relatively simple questions. Relatively simple questions on C. The output of this snippet is A equal to 4, B equal to 6. A is set to 4, B is set to 6. And here there is a relational expression a equal to b. a equal to b is not true. Therefore, d the percentage d should, we should get zero. The truth value of this particular expression is zero. Therefore, zero is the answer. Now, the output of this snippet is a equal to four, b equal to six, a equal to b. Okay, a equal to b means here a will be equated to b. So, a earlier value is four and it is overwritten by 6. Now what A carries is 6 and it is A which will be printed. Okay, Therefore the answer should be 6. Now the following program results in I equal to 6, I equal to 6 and uh, if I equal to 6, correct, it is return 0. Return 0 appears in main. So immediately when this becomes true, the program will be the program will be really terminated we will never get anything to be printed on the screen okay termination of the program is the correct way we will never see we can see a blinking cursor 23 the following program segment results in printing of int equal to int i equal to 5 do do put char 100 plus i that is 105. Print f percentage d i minus minus. After completion of this, i, I minus minus means i means 5. 
because i minus minus is i equal to i minus i minus 1 i is set to 5 therefore what compiler gets is 5 so therefore 100 and put char 105 so 105 as an integer value should be placed as a character so it's like it's a equivalent value uh, its equivalent value is i only okay 105 the ascii value 105 connotes i and then in the second statement what it gets 5 because it is i minus minus i equal to i minus 1 only when the compiler leaves this particular situation this particular point this particular point uh, it will carry the value changed in the memory of i okay semicolon was missing over here okay i wrote that so i minus 5 so i equal to i minus 1 what it gets is 5 then then so here uh, then when it goes to goes back to this particular step i would have become 4 therefore it becomes 104 104 is h what is there behind i then this will become 4 because 4 equal to so i equal to i minus 1 it becomes 4 then once again it goes behind that is g then it becomes 3 f behind g okay 2 e 1 you can you can slowly work out this and this is going to be the answer i 5 then i minus minus will be taken over here 104 means h and it is 4 that is printed because value of i is 4 and the expression is i equal to i plus 1 so 4 will be fetched by the compiler and this is the correct answer the following program segment results in printing of i equal to 107 x equal to 5 so this is a ternary operator okay this is a ternary operator ternary operator here are the question mark and the semicolon and the colon question mark and semicolon you should be read like this pre evaluate this particular expression and print the value okay okay a print wherever the format specifier is mentioned wherever wherever yeah data specifier is mentioned here there is a percentage d and percentage d something is to be printed either here or here but this should be read like this is x greater than 7 x equal to 5 actually no is x greater than 7 that's how we should read out read it out loud okay question mark no if it is true print this if we, if it is true execute this particular expression otherwise execute this particular expression x is not greater than 7 because x equal to 5 therefore this uh, this reaches a this reaches a uh, this is not truth and this is false so at percentage c i value that is 107 the ascii value corresponding to 107 see the ascii character corresponding to 107 will be printed that is k okay the equivalent uh, alphabet for 107 as an ascii value is is lower case k the last question we have reached the last question because we have we have set forth to answer 25 selected questions okay uh, which can be termed as of low complexity of course the following loop while printf percentage d printf ab printf cd so this will be executed so a b will be printed after a b it is 1 2 2 will be printed in place of d so this function returns the number of characters present therefore it becomes a b 2 a b 2 this is true because this function has returned to true while true while true so uh, it will be printing typically speaking it will be it has to print it has to print um, uh, a b 2 c d a b 2 c d a b 2 c d relentlessly because while true is the statement while true so long as truth is there go on doing whatever i say okay while true okay even if we write an expression something like this okay uh, it, it, we will end up in a in an infinite loop while one while one you, you try this while one 
okay you, within the bracket you say do this do this do that okay it will be relentlessly doing and you have to you have to press control uh, scroll lock key or pause break key in order to control that or sometimes you may have to in, in, invoke the task manager to to close that particular task in some of the compilers in some of the systems therefore it is not this it is also not this no it will never print out syntax error no it's not a syntax error problem none of the above is the answer for this because it prints a b whatever that is there in the bracket this will be executed first and this function returns a value so every c function returns an integer that is told very clearly so here in this specific case it returns two because there are two characters and if it uh, had it been a scanf statement how many elements that you are reading that will be printed over here if you are reading three inputs three will be printed over here but here this will also be printed because it is a printf statement so none of the above is the correct answer uh, my dear friends my respected viewers we have completed the first session of uh, so called uh, low complexity questions on c which have appeared in uh, in gate question papers and in some of the company question papers okay that i have solved uh, up to my capability some of the programs we i, I executed here in order to in order to see the veracity of the answer that is printed in the in the resources so with this we complete this first session uh, and if you liked this video kindly subscribe if you are not done it uh, till then we, before we come out with the second tutorial on this particular series which will involve moderately complex programs uh, complex problems in c okay c multiple choice questions okay uh, drawn from typical uh, typical selection tests also so with this we conclude uh, until then thank you bye